Welcome to A Hat in Time. Now, for today's video I want to talk about the speedrunning aspect of this game. This game has a lot of features made for speedrun specifically. There's a speedrun timer for you to use whenever you need it. There is auto-skippable cutscenes that actually skips cutscenes unlike other games. And then, there's levels that are built around being fast. First one that would come to mind for most people is Train Rush. Train Rush is made to be fast, but before you have to do Murder on the Al Express. So, what's the problem with doing both of them? Well, you see, Hand Time has become so optimized that speedrunners can do most levels in about 40 seconds. It is kind of insane. And I'm going to try and do one of the skips they do. Because you can basically skip most of this most of this level <laughs> with a few good jumps. I am uh, not perfect at speedrunning this game, I will say. I have a little bit of practice. That's kind of it. There we go. You do that jump. It lowers Zara. You're supposed to be able to go around, time goes on, and then you make it to the end. Here's the thing, though. You don't have to do everything. That's the fun part. A lot of the level is more or less skippable here, if I can land it, <laughs> oh my, there, you can do that, then most people would warp back to start using fire, I do not have health for that anymore, so ice hat, but most people warp to the start using fire, and you'll see we're already halfway through the timer, from here, we'd need to get up there, which would require using the key on that lock. Instead, though... You can just make a jump! And that starts that elevator. Which would be helpful... If I had known how to do that jump, but I don't, so we're gonna use the elevator. And what's important about this room is it's supposed to be the last room that you access. And that means that the whole timer will end if you make it in. So enter this room, exit this room, and look at that. Time's up. Now even with my rather sloppy play, you can see that this level can be done relatively fast. So... What's the problem with doing this one? You could very easily just do Train Rush after this, because Train Rush is fast, right? Well, let's go do Train Rush then, and let's get a timer going for it. Alright, Train Rush starting... I know a fair bit about this one, but I have seen the speedrun route and I am nowhere near as practiced as what they do, because some of the skips are ludicrous. So, this is a fast level, right? There's a timer, you're being told to go fast. So what makes this one not viable? Well, remember what I said earlier. Most levels can be done in 30 to 40 seconds. I want you to look at how much time has passed already. Even for someone like me who isn't super well practiced in the speedrun, at this point now, this is becoming a slow level even for someone like me who's learning. And it's not helping if I can't do basic jumps.
And this is, uh... This all became a question to me because... You see, I love this level. Especially the Death Wish version. And I was wondering, huh, it's fast. Is there a way to incorporate this into the speedrun? But now that I'm looking at it, and actually thinking as a speedrunner instead of, man, I really like this level, it's painfully obvious why this isn't used. This level makes you feel fast with all the surroundings, all the chaos. The music speeding up everything makes you feel like you're going fast. <laughs> but in reality, if you look at the timer, sure it's a level that doesn't go nearly as... Well, it is fast in comparison to others because you don't have a choice. But other levels also, you know, have more spread out objectives or a longer to reach one, which is just easier to get to that objective and get it done than Train Rush where it's linear. So the problem is, 2 minutes 25 seconds. That, that causes an issue. So now we're here. We turn them blue. It ends up counting. And now, what happens is... I mean, you could call it the real battle begins. Now I'm gonna need a second because I already got myself to 1 HP somehow through bad gameplay. But if I do this now... Okay. If I can do it. The thing is... He's gonna keep going in here. You're not supposed to be able to hit him in here. Can you please stop using attacks like that? I am trying to show off a bug. Sir, please. Oh wait, he healed me to full. How generous. Let's see if I can find it. His hitbox is... technically within range of the player's umbrella. Wow, I suck at this game. Hold, please, while I actually get it working. Alright, we're back. Let's see if we can get it right this time. There! <laughs> As you can see, fast boss. You just have to actually know what you're doing. Thank you so much, speedrunners, for showing me what I was doing wrong. So, this level too. You're doing most of Subcon. Why not just do this level? It's still a minute. <laughs> About a minute and a half to do this level. Which as mentioned before, is just not optimal at all in terms of a speedrun for this game. A minute and a half is just slow. So even if this is a boss battle and it seems like it can be done... <laughs> oh my gosh, English. It seems like it can be done with, you know, just cheese, pretty much. Unintentional gameplay then why isn't it in the run? They're just too slow. And I find it interesting how many of these fast levels, or levels that could be considered fast for one reason or another, are completely shut out of a speedrun just because, well, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many levels that just have better options for going fast. I think my personal favorite one to watch has always been Cheating the Race, where you have to race the Mafia. Normally you're supposed to use Time Stop Hat, but you don't even need that. It, <laughs> It's just not necessary at all, because you're just fast enough if you do it right. 
but it's it's interesting. I love this game. This game's got some fun speedruns and just a lot of cool stuff to it in general. I would like to bring this game to the channel. I do actually do a lot of speedrunning for this game, and that is another one of the things that kind of brought up this video was just this game has a very amazing community, and there is a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of chaos to go with it, and things like speedrun analysis, especially for games I actually do speedruns for are also very fun, just because, I mean, you'd think levels like this, like I said, you'd think they're fast enough, but they're just not. It's kind of strange to think about. Anyways, that'll be all for today's video. I know it's a little shorter, but college has been awful this week, and I'm trying to get that all sorted out. So, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time.